All right. Hello, good day, everyone. Good day, our viewers. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Wow. Today, we're going to be discussing about um, basic things that actually happen in the church and outside the church that pertain the gospel music uh, musicians and um, also with their relationship with their pastors. Right about now, I have in the house, of course, you would know him, He's a popular person in our territory, a man that God has ordained and God has been using far and wide to really impact into lives, basically youth. Specifically, I would like to introduce to you, every one of you to help me welcome, Pastor Richard Minnett. He will be helping us to treat this matter today. Sit relaxed and don't go anywhere. You're going to enjoy this podcast. All right, sir, you're welcome. Thank you so very much. <laughs> you're welcome, sir. It's a honor once again to be with Tayo Bamilili. Thank you very much, sir. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, for coming. I'm I so look happy. forward to some heavy matters and wait here. <laughs> <laughs> <just today. laughs> we are going to be treating some basic issues that we have in our in our in our territory, in our kingdom, in our community as a gospel artist. Number one question I'm going to I'm going to ask you now, sir, Pastor. What do you see into this one? Tim Manor. What do you think can actually be the integration between a music minister and his pastor and his place of assignment? All right. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, saying first and foremost that um, if I understand where you are coming from, yeah, um, like a a lot of you know um, gospel musicians artists right. a number of them don't have any particular church local church that they belong to that True. a pastor that they report to True. that they submit to True. and um so maybe we are looking at um his place of assignment the place of the assignment of the music minister the gospel music minister should he have a place of assignment mm -hmm. um is it okay to just be a gospel music minister Moving from church to church, yeah, you don't necessarily have to be under like the um um the cover under a cover of mm. the oversight of a church or a pastor. Mm. Uh, I would like to say that um, if anything is gospel, then it means that thing must belong to the body, the church. That thing must be a part of the church. Mm. You must have some affiliation to the church now if you are not a part of a work a church mm -hmm. building a church when you say you're a gospel minister what you are saying is that the club is not your altar yeah. it's not your primary place of assignment True. um maybe the beach clubs and all those kind of um you know all these out, outdoor mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. like maybe that with easter carnivals and all those things um, it's not necessarily your your primary place of assignment. Right. Your first place of assignment now is the church because yeah. you're a gospel musician. Your audience is the body, the True. believers, the True. church. So True. you can't be ministering to a people that you do not have a base. Mm. A pastor needs to have a base. All right. An evangelist should have a base. Yeah. A prophet should. <laughs> I, I know today we have lots of young people who are senior prophets, senior yeah. apostles. And some of them don't even belong to any church. Don't have a church. You should have a church that you report to. Yeah. As anointed as Paul, Apostle Paul was, Apostle Paul was reporting to the church at Jerusalem. All, right. all of them, even Peter, Jerusalem, all of them, they were reporting to the church at Jerusalem. Yeah. So yeah. in the same vein, um, every gospel artist should have a pastor and then should have a church mm -hmm. that is their first <laughs> primary place of assignment. Yeah. It's very important. It gives you cover. It gives right. you cover over your head. And then, then it gives you a um, a signet in the kingdom, somebody, as it were, who watches over your soul. All right. We must have somebody that watches over our soul. Otherwise, you see, right. we we'll just become breakouts and then before you know, everybody is running here while doing their own things. And, mm -hmm. you know, but again, I know that the reason why a lot of gospel, some gospel artists, do not belong to any church, as it were, or have yeah. a yeah, do not have a place of assignment. It's because of the kind of experiences that they have 
hard with churches, with pastors. Um, you have tried one pastor, they ended up, you know, falling your hand, as it were. True, true. You tried another one, you see there are churches that a person starts up with the church, you've given your life, your time, you grew up with the church mm. from the cradle. <clears throat> God has blessed the church now. The, the altars have been opened. Yeah. And the same person who has been here with you for years, from growing with one, the church, yeah. now that the church is, you know, God has blessed the church, now they have, or, you know, today we have the church, churches that have stages that are like, yeah. you know, like um, all the cinemas and, you know, 21st century kind of, you know, the mm. stages with, LED screens and the rest of them. Now you want to host a program and your pastor is telling you you have to pay to use the church. He's saying you have to pay and you are wondering that, Daddy, it's me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been singing I've, on, I've, in concert. I've, I've experienced something like uh, this. Uh, okay. I've really experienced okay. something like this. You know, it's, okay. it's, it's a very serious matter where you put your mind, you organize programs for churches and, um, you know, and a lot of people thought maybe you worship there but you, you decide to use the platform to bring souls to the kingdom of God. Okay. And you, you'll be so frustrated to a point where the same people that claim to be Christians, the same people that claim to be born again, are the ones frustrating the okay. vision. Let's not say God claim. Has. Let's not say claim. The same who are believers, who are born again, they are. Right. A lot of times they are, but they don't behave like it. So okay. it's not a claim. Okay. It's who they are. Okay. So the same people who are born again, who should all right. Understand the love of God. So take it up from there. You know, you know, my, 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 like my personal experience with these people, you organize, you put up a program okay. to win souls. All right. The souls are not coming to you directly. Right. The souls belong to God. Yeah. And you need a platform, a church to help you build, not short the souls, you know, and God has helped you to a point where you bring, you organize programs, people, they come and you see the crowd at the end of the day. This, you know, these same people start thinking, maybe you are making money from the event. You'll be so shocked that they will now call you and say, oh, for the next event that you're going to have, you have to pay for this Zoom, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for that, you have to give choir uh, refreshments, you have to, then begin to ask yourself, where are you really getting the money from? Because sometimes I have my own personal um, um, liabilities too, you, uh, liabilities too, you know, you know exactly too. obligations, and um, you sponsor this event without even asking anybody to help you out at the end of the day. And they're putting all this way burden, burden on you, on you okay. you know, and um, it's, it's not encouraging, it's not really encouraging. <laughs> How do you expect the same person to remain in that denomination? Where you know, if I have to use this word, pastor again, permit me, you know, when the same people are frustrating the vision that god has given to you you know you would rather go to a place where you are celebrated not where you are tolerated sir so that's why if some of the some artists eventually just feel that i i can't i don't see why i should belong to a yes. place where yes i don't have platform to yes. grow i'm not encouraged yes a place where i've given my life given my time my time mm. um i've been leading worship leading praise true. for years true now i have I have a vision to um to reach out through my own calling and ministry mm. you know to give to lend voice to the body via my music ministry mm. and then the same church that i've given my life to my time to now mm. is not encouraging me rather taxing me so some of this sometimes we now see these challenges and then we feel that there's no use i mean what am i doing in the church mm. so let me, since it's business, look, we look, want to look, let's do business look now. Look for elsewhere, uh, yeah, elsewhere where you are appreciated. Maybe where I'm appreciated. You understand? Uh, again, but even some of these artists, even when they go to those places where they're appreciated, they don't still belong to those churches. True. Because some of some some of them, you know, they will tell you I worship at social place. Yeah. But what they mean is when I don't have any program, I worship there. All right. If they have a program or they have an the invitation, base, yeah, they don't tell the pastor that Daddy, I will not be in church. For right. this Sunday and this Sunday and this Sunday, because I'll be at mm. again. Why do they do that? Because you see, I've also I know I understand that I'm also uh, by the grace of God we've been involved in raising artists and voices. Mm. Uh, at the time, I had one of the very one a band that was doing so well in Lagos State here. All right, you know. So I, I understand when your lead singer 
He's telling you every now and then, I have to go to, I have to go to. But you see, that's why pastors should learn to raise more talent. Don't just depend on one person alone. If you, if you get too used to accustomed to one person, mm. if you discover that God is giving that person a call, Right. You will not want to allow that person to be going out. True. You will feel that, no, you can't accept that invitation. True. True. So some artists don't tell their pastors about that they are going for, you know, about their, their schedule, yeah. about the programs that they are inviting them for, the, their invitation, because the pastor will not let them go. True. The pastor will feel that. If he says, don't go, and, you, and again, artists, some of them, this is where they also make a living from. The and, manual, and, 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 so when you say don't go, what I'm saying is, I'll take care of you. And I will, And the church may not take care of you fully, and they will not let you go to yeah. attend those programs that will also be a blessing to you and your ministry. Sure. So in doing that, you muzzle the ox that is treading the corn. Yeah. And the Bible said, thou shalt not muzzle the ox that tread the corn. So pastors must understand that we must be liberal enough with gifts and talent. Mm -hmm. the, the music artists, we must, be, we must be liberal enough with them. They must right. see that we mean well for them. They must see that we are not standing as an obstacle in their way to yeah. say no, you can rise. To say no. in fact, some pastors will now say for going, they'll come up on the altar, lay cause on their own artist who is a lead singer in their church. Yeah. You, you think you have now grown, you forget that it was in this ministry that God raised you. Unless I'm not the one that raised you, if we, if I'm the one that God used to raise you, for where I raise you, you are going back to the gutter. So mm -hmm. I've seen, I've seen it like that. Like so that. pastors must also be patient with. <laughs> The gospel, and because you see, we are also careful that Jesus said, if you cause one of these little ones mm. to fall, that it were better that you were not even saved mm. than such a person should mm. exist. So we must understand that we will give account for the souls All of right. these ones. So fathers must not provoke mm. their children. We must be careful if those children are our biological children. Yeah. Would we be glad that they're inviting them up and down? Mm. The truth is, you would be glad that your son is getting invitations. Yeah. If he was your biological child, you would be glad. You would be even announce, oh, my son... They are inviting him to House on the Rock. They are calling him tomorrow at Covenant. The next day, you are happy. And but when it's not your, your, our son, mm. we feel bad and we say they cannot go. You are, you are rebellious, you are stubborn, you should stay. So pastors should understand that so that when we understand that we give, we let our artists see that our, those who are under, uh, under us, we give them platform and show them that we are not afraid of their rising. We are not afraid of their, of their success. Mm. Believe me, they will submit to us and then they will give us the greatest support ever. It's very simple, sir. You know, if I'm going to buttress on what you've just said right now, yeah. do to others what you want others to, to do, do to you. you. That's it's a just law. it. That is just it's it. a law of love. And, 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 and on this same case, there are a lot of gospel artists that I actually know. They are not committed to church activities, but they are part of the body. They are not part of the choir. They are not part of sanitation. Okay. They are not part. Okay. But what they just do, okay. they go to church. They submit to a church. They, they submit to they a church. They attend the church. They attend they the church. There, they worship there. But they are not in any of the departments. Any of the departments. Okay. And they I, are gospel artists. I would like to also um, address that issue. All right. Um, you can't belong to a family and not be a part of those who supply. That is according to that which every joint mm. supplies. Mm. So... And again, why, why is it so? Why will any gospel artist that is doing so well not be happy the church you have submitted to? Why would you not be happy to be in the choir, to sing with the choir? It's, it boils down to the same thing. If you're in the choir and then you say tomorrow that I have an invitation, they will say you are the one that's supposed to take the lead song. Yeah. So what I do in my church is, mm. I don't have one person that takes a solo. All right. If one person is taking the solo, I have a backup. What if the person who is to take the solo falls sick? True. What if an opportunity comes and then he has to go for visa? Mm. An opportunity comes and a superior anointing is asking me, release that your son mm. to come to me. Mm. Then will the choir not still sing? So mm. what we do is we always have backups, plan B. Plan B if A yeah. is not on ground, B. Yeah. It That's also required. affords opportunity for others to grow. So that you're not just growing only one person. You are growing more people yeah. in, the, in the choir, in, in the, the group. Department. Yes, yeah. but again, I would like to encourage artists that please as much as possible, don't just be in a church. Be a part. And if you know mm. that because you are in the choir, it won't work, mm. the schedule will not work, then join sanitation. Mm. Join Sunday school. In fact, I prefer Sunday school. Why? For, for, for gospel artists. Because most gospel artists mm. that I see, a, lot, a number of, apart from those who have grown, who are up there, yeah. 
A lot of upcoming gospel artists, a number of them are not good with scriptures. They are not good with expressing themselves mm. apart from to sing. Some of them don't even know what to say when they come on the stage. Mm. Oh, they go, listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. You've never heard that and say, listen and be blessed. You've not heard Sina come and say, listen and be blessed. Because <laughs> when you don't have anything to say, you now come and say, listen, I hope this blessed. number, listen to this number and be blessed. Be, you know. No, 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 no. If yeah. you're a gospel artist and you come up and you are loaded, the Bible says, you will know what to say. You will know what to say. Yeah. Let the word of Christ dwell in you in richly. You. In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another mm. in psalms and hymns and spiritual mm. song. You know, so when you are loaded with the world, it becomes easy to give what you, exactly. the word of God. Exactly. So most artists don't, so I always encourage um, um, gospel artists to be worded. To be worded. So join Sunday school. Mm. You can be in Sunday school and then you will not be worded. And then if you are in Sunday school, most Sunday school teachers, you always have yeah. extra, a lot of teachers. So the mm. day you have obligation, you have an assignment outside, you can let them know that's where you know the problem they require. But Thank every you so much, gospel sir. artist should have a church, submit to a pastor, belong to the church, and be a part of growing that church mm -hmm. and also giving offering. Most mm -hmm. gospel artists don't give offering. They just sing a lot of them. Don't they don't when it's wait, time for offering? Wait, I see them. They is it not <laughs> instrumentalist? Is it not instrumentalist? Uh, even more instrumentalists uh, than their number one. I think I, I know that instrumentalists don't give us free, they don't. Yeah. In fact, because they are playing, yes. they are playing, they are playing the keyboard, so offering will come and go. They so in their and, mind. I, and, and I also think it's over familiarity. Uh, yes, with it, God with God, and, and then um, again, to some of them feel that ah, the church is paying me mm. for doing my work. Why the money you not pay me? You not carry the money again. Give God again. It's not even enough. Why will I give God? And, so? and 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 that is why it's very important for uh, a pastor to play a very critical role in the life of this instrumentalist. Okay. If you think you are paying them, okay. you don't need to monitor their spirituality. You are getting it wrong it's as a, a pastor. It's a mistake. You understand? Error. That is why they come to church every day. Their mindset is that um, I come to play in the church. My, my work it's is my service. So but when, when it comes to the word of God, God others, it's not my business. when it comes to the word of God, they are not deep. They are not rooted. They don't understand it. You know? In fact, mm. you have just hit the nail on it. In fact, mm. God bless you for that one. Do you know that I discovered that too? There are churches that I go to, the, the keyboardists or the saxophonists, they only come when it's time to play the instrument. Mm -hmm. And when they finish playing, they go outside. They go out, yeah. When it's time again to play, they come again they and come they play. In. Now, this you are you are you are shortchanging yourself as a gospel artist. Because what you have done is you have made yourself an Agbero conductor. Mm -hmm. Somebody, not even conductor, Agbero at the bus stop. You know, those who are helping the buses to call mile two, mile two, mm -hmm. Agboju, Agboju. People that you are calling will enter the bus, they will move, but the Agbero does not go anywhere. Yes, sir. He's there. So these artists who play in churches and don't belong, don't see themselves as members and see that they ought to grow, you are, you are helping people to go to heaven. You yourself, you are not preparing for heaven. If you are a child of God and you are ready to make heaven, it means you must grow the way everybody is growing. Yes, sir. You must eat the same spiritual meat, food mm. that others are eating. Mm. So you don't come to church to just play mm. and you have done your bit. No, no, no. Yeah. Every artist must come to church. Sit down. In fact, that's another issue. We'll address that some, some time yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most artists, when you see, they can have five invitations in one night. Five invitations. So they will just schedule. I'll be here by one o'clock, here by two o'clock, and... Once they come, it's not their turn. They'll be outside. They'll just be playing and mm -hmm. they're waiting for their turn. When is their turn? They come up. Once they sing, they're done. They'll just no move one. on again. To, yes. No, it's wrong. If you come mm -hmm. and it's not your time yet, what's wrong with sitting down and also enjoying the artist that is up? Mm -hmm. Artists should learn to also encourage artists. Most artists, when they come, they don't, they wait outside. When is their turn? They come up. They come up. They are the superstars. No, you are, you are also a worshiper. Every artist is a worshiper for crying out loud. So please, as mm -hmm. an artist, when you come to church, another artist is up and he says, lift your hand. You two lift your hand now. You two worship now. Most artists feel that when they see Intimidated, me worshiping, they, yeah. feel, they feel, you know, mm. no, I'm, I'm the one they are waiting for. Uh, when and when I come up, you yeah. know, when I handle the mic, they will know that, you know, anointing will come. No, no, no. You are helping men to make heaven. You are helping men to reach God, to worship God. You are not worshiping God. Most lead singers don't even know that. You are a lead singer does not mean you meet God. You are leading them to God. Mm. You can lead men to God and not go to God yourself. Mm. You can lead men to God and God doesn't even know you. So I can lead you to Asso Rock. When I get there, I show you the way to enter. Talk to the security. They let you in. I go and continue again. Yeah. You don't lead men just to worship. You also, you lead them in by you being the 
they lead worship. You yourself, you are the one that takes them. Your leading them should not be to carry them. Your leading them should be to, as you ascend, they join you in worship to all ascend right. to God. So I'm encouraging all, all right. gospel we artists have, we, we, to we, please we, we. submit themselves to a church a local church, a pastor. You must have a pastor. If they ask who is your pastor, this is your pastor. So that tomorrow, when you need letter of recommendation, your pastor can give you, you will not be going here and going there. You should have a church, a base, and a pastor that you submit Thank to. Thank you bless. so much, pastor. Thank you so much. And you've God. been able to do justice to this. And Praise I pray God. that them, they will learn. But there's another question that I need to ask you. Okay. Um, I, I meet a lot of people. They ask me this, you know, and I see a lot of people, they do this too as well. And the question is very simple. Is it a crime, is it wrong for a music minister to beg for invitation or to beg for an invite? Now, for me, I don't do it. I don't. Personally, I don't. That's a principle for me. But I know artists that they will beg, they will lobby, they will pay, they will hypocritically, you know, do things so that they can manipulate. get... Manipulate. Manipulate. So that they can get into that Be platform. That <laughs> but I strongly believe it is my mindset. If truly God has called me, I work on myself and I prepare towards that. Definitely God will direct my steps. Make, to way. make way. You know, the way God thinks is different from man. Oh, yes. I don't want to assume how God is going to do it. Mine is to position myself in mm. a place mm. where when the time mm. comes. Work on yourself. Work on myself. When mm. the time comes, definitely. God will assign the that grace person. will announce you. Yes, the grace will announce you. <laughs> that is why you see, you see a lot of artists, they will pile up different flyers on, 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 on there. I'm not saying that is bad. You know, it can actually happen by the, by the help of God. But I'm saying where, is it wrong for a gospel minister or right to beg for invites? To beg for platform? To beg for platform. All right. Um, Apostle Paul said... To answer that, that all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Mm. All things are lawful, but all things don't work for me. Mm. So, as a child of God, you need to know what works for you. Mm. Then again, not everything is sin. But at the same time, not everything is um, the perfect will of God for you. Mm. I'm sure if there's anything at all, as a worshiper, you want to be in God's perfect will. Mm. Now, by the way, there are three kinds of will. There's the good will, there's the acceptable will, mm. and then there's the perfect will. Mm. The good will of God, God said, um, Apostle Paul writing in Timothy said, um, first of all, I exalt that prayer, supplication, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for rulers, for uh, those who are in authority, uh, yes, for rulers and those in authority, that we may lead a good and a peaceably life. Mm. For this is good in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. So, God's goodwill is that, we say, well, this is good. Who, who will have all men to be saved? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we pray for all in authority, everybody that we know, so that they can be saved. Yeah. So, being saved is God's goodwill for everybody. God's good is that everybody yeah. should be saved. But when we are saved, we come into what we call the acceptable will. Mm. God's acceptable will is now you are saved, you are a baby. A lot of things goes. You don't know much. You don't know left from right. So God will tolerate you the way you are. So Paul said, in days of ignorance, God tolerated you. But now, he commands everywhere that all men should grow up and become mature. Mm. So for you as a child, a babe, as a babe, I mean, even our babies, when they pull on their body, they wee on their body, they, we tolerate a lot of because they are babies. Mm. Remember, as many as our, you, you know, um, um, uh, as receiving, to, to them gave the power to become the children of God. So a child, God, yeah. you know, like child. So God accepts you. So, as a child, there are things we can choose. There are things we can do that God will not... But that's not his will for you. Mm. So, there's the place of growing in grace. Growing in the law. The Bible said Jesus grew. He grew in Luke chapter 2, verse 50, mm. 50, uh, 52. That the child grew in wisdom, in stature, mm. in favor with men and with God. So, he grew. Mm. Jesus grew. The Bible said Samuel grew before the Lord. The Bible also said David grew. Now, many are growing in church, but not before the Lord. Mm. There are two kinds of growth. There is the place of growing in the Lord, before the Lord, and there's the place of growing in the church. 
A lot of people can, if you grow in structure, you grow in church, mm -hmm. you can rise to become an apostle and yet you have yes, not grown sir. in character. Yes, sir. You have not grown in character. Mm -hmm. You have not grown in... Um, you have not grown in maturity. You have not grown in grace. Mm -hmm. Please note that. So, I've seen a lot of people, they grow in ordination. Mm -hmm. They grow in the church. They become deacons. They become pastors. They become elders. They mm -hmm. become all what have you. But they have not grown in grace. If you think, um, I'm, all I'm saying is, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Offend them. Mm -hmm. Just cross their path. You will see where if they open their suit, the demon of anger that will come out of the suit, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked that how can a senior pastor behave? I mean, mm -hmm. so one told me that I said, I don't know how to forgive you. Me, I you born your friend, <laughs> my party, I don't, and it was a senior pastor. Wow. So so sometimes a person there's a place of growing in grace. In the church, people are growing in church. They are growing in structure, in ordination, but not in grace. Mm -hmm. So you are not growing in God's perfect will. There is the perfect will of God. God now, wants you now, to Now, the grow. question now, the question now is that, yes. Pastor, is it right for I'm God to minister? That That's why I'm coming to, to that. I'm done. To, <laughs> to right. answer that yeah. now. To right. answer that now. I've said that to say that there are a lot of things that you think is normal. All right. It's not wrong. Before God is not a sin per se, yeah. but... It is not the will of God for you. Mm. And where, how would you rather grow? In God's will or outside God's will? Mm. Because outside God's will, you don't have a reward at the end of the day. Mm. Because Paul said on that day, every man's work will be tested to see what sort it is. Mm. So a lobbyist and a manipulator, you know, do you know that people that even go as far as talking to people and give complimentary card to choir leaders, music leaders in churches and tell them, if you can convince your church and they can bring me, 40% mm. is your own. Yes, sir. True. I'm telling you, I, I know that. I tell you, 40% is your own. So, I, Pastor, no I'm sorry, sir. Let me quickly come to this one. Ah, I know of a music director. Yes. You know, it's not funny. It's yes. not funny. I, you know, like I said, the previous uh, podcast, Yes. I said, I don't charge churches. I don't. Now, because I don't charge, definitely, you don't expect me to corner my way in to sort you or to bribe you so that I can because be you, don't, invited. you don't even know how much they will give you. Sir. So, so me, sir. what are you sorting? I know of a, a, a music director that told me he said we are inviting you, but if you are going to come, you have to give us prophetic offering. You have to drop prophetic offering. I did. I see if I don't understand. I said, what do you mean by prophetic offering? He said, why? Why are you behaving like this? Why are you doing as if you don't understand? You know, what I'm saying. You know, you know. From the surgery. court, from the court where they go give you, you have to give, us, give me my percentage so that anytime church won't put now your name, will now your put. name will they put? I say, wow. <laughs> now, now, if you were covetous mm. and you are not mindful or careful about God's heartbeat, mm. would you accept or not? Mindful of, of God's course, heartbeat. I will accept now. I will accept. The, the, are you the one that negotiated it? Mm. Are you the one that went to tell them? Do you understand? No, so I will you just accept. say that. Yes. I know me now. And that's the same thing. Many people, that's how we are growing. And, and, and pastor, guess what? Yeah. The moment he told me that, and I told him that, man, you don't tell me Good. what to do when it comes to that. Guess what he did, sir? Yeah. He went to tell his pastor yes. that uh, I will not be available. Because at the end of the day, you discover that people can rise in different forms and ways. Mm. But what we are saying is, Paul said every man's work will be tested yeah, on the last day true, to see what true. sort that work is. True. And many people's work will be burnt by fire because mm. those works were not works of God because he said, who has saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our own works, mm. but according to his own purpose and grace, which he gave to us in Christ Jesus before the foundations of the world. Yeah. So there is a work that God does for you. Mm. If you are a man that has a mind, you are mindful of God, you are minding God. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart and all your mind. And all your mind. That's you are minding him. You're always minding God. You'll be careful how you grow. So you will not want to grow outside grace. So the truth is, so in talking about begging for platform, yeah. this is my answer. All right. In this kingdom, we are not wired to beg. Mm -hmm. Begging is not part of our calling. Mm -hmm. What is our calling? The Bible says, till I come, give attendance to reading to doctrine, to exhortation. He said, commit yourself wholly to these things that your profiting may appear to all. Mm. If you have a calling and a ministry to sing, please 
Wait on your singing. On your time. On your time. Commit yourself. Keep growing. To just, God. You just keep growing yes. in grace. See, yes. grace will announce you. Yes. A man's gift makes room for him and, and brings bring him, him before great, great men. men. Yeah. You know, you know the, the error of begging for platform. Mm. I saw one. We used to have a concert we call Real Worship. You know Real Worship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there was this fellow outside Lagos who cornered my our provincial pastor and got him to put his name on the artist. Oh my God. You see, if you don't wait for your time for God to lift you, mm. if you arrive too early, you may crash out so quickly. Very true, sir. Now, that program is a program that the whole world is watching live. It's beamed to, to the whole world. Mm. Now, this guy has not learned to sing where well. He still sings off key. Wow. So, as he came up, the first, as he opened his mouth, he just went flat. Everybody just shouted, Whoa. I mean, you could see it. Everybody just locked up. Now, if you hear that guy's name another time, or any other of the churches, they say we want to invite that guy. The pastors will say, no, not, we see not that guy. He has closed the door. Mm -hmm. By manipulation, he closed the door because he did not wait for his time. Wow. Your timing allows you growth. Your timing allows you that God knows that you are able to deal with the lion and the bear in the yes, bush. Sir. When he yes, introduces to Goliath, Goliath will not yes, make a mess sir. of your calling and ministry. Mm. Otherwise, now you may know how to sing go. I'm not saying you, some people know how to sing, they won't go off. Mm. They won't do anything, but guess what? If you have not learned to wait, because they that wait upon, upon the Lord, Lord they the renew their strength. Yes. Man. When you reach that corridor of power, there are forces, there are powers in those spaces. You see, I, I told somebody that uh, every new level, every new every new level introduces new, new devils. Devil. <laughs> so when you push up and reach that platform, the devils that are waiting for you, yes, you sir. have not been you have not been trained to handle them. Yeah. Guess what? That's why artists go to such places; their marriages scatter. Mm. Yes, because they have not grown strength enough to manage family. Mm. But they have grown voice enough and think that all it takes is voice to be announced to the world. No, God knows you carry a ministry, a glory that is global and the devil is after your head. But he knows that mm. if it damages your marriage, your marital life or certain things in your life, he knows that he can get your ministry. He can hijack your calling and glory. There are people today they are doing so well. I won't call their names in this industry. Yeah. Gospel artists. Just because they did not succeed in marriage. Some churches close. Many churches close their door against them. You see now, if they had waited for time, because a man's gift is what makes room for him, not a man's begging. A man's gift in this kingdom, beg your gift, work on your gift, stay on your gift, develop yourself, invest in yourself. See, your profiting will appear to all. There's no way. He said, no, my pastor is the one covering my glory. That glory is not glory. Mm -hmm. Can you cover? But the Bible said, can a man cover the sun, mm -hmm. the glory of the sun? You can't. Mm -hmm. If your glory has arrived, no bad, no man can cover it. Mm -hmm. it the reason the pastor is still covering it is because the glory has not reached the level yes, to the sir. So Take time. Like what I mean, wait on your calling. The Bible says you should wait on your calling. He that has a calling. Wait on your calling. When you wait on it, see, the doors will open. Mm. The problem is that we are too much in a hurry. Too mm. much in a hurry. Mm. Do you know how many years you have been in this ministry? Ah. <laughs> if people know how far, how long you have been coming, mm. how long you and um, some other that, I, I know how long it has been. Mm. I know how many churches God has used you to be a blessing yes, to. Sir. That you have been, I mean, you have been there for them yes, and sir. the rest of them. Yes, sir. Today, many of them are not there for you. Let's wow. leave that out. But what we are saying is, your journey is not today. Yes, Some sir. people like you would have gotten angry and left the, the, the music ministry. But guess what? You are there. Mm. You didn't leave. Mm. Why? In hunger, in pain, you are waiting for the Lord. Now, see what the Lord has done. Mm. See what the, look at look at what the Lord has done. Mm. I'm in Taiwan Lane Studio today. <laughs> if maybe you had followed those other paths, you won't have all this one to do. Mm. Now God is using your pain. To prepare you for the greater glory. Now you are not going to just be a music singer alone, but God is wiring to be a singer, an artist, and also a producer, and also an in fact, what God is doing now is He's using Taiwa Milele to enhance the music industry. It's the industry that you are doing now. So please wait for your time. Wait for your time. 
God has a time for you. Receive grace to wait in Jesus' name. May you receive wisdom, not to be in a hurry. I know you are hungry. He uses hunger to train us. Apostle Paul said, approving ourselves as ministers of God in patience, in necessities, in affliction, in endurance, in fasting. Turn your hunger to fasting. Just wait. Mm. If you learn to wait, when you reach there, no devil. All right. Can do anything Thank you. you so much, Pastor. Praise In God. fact, it's been a wonderful time. I'm really enjoying oh, myself. Yes. Oh, we yes. cannot end this um, no, 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 no. this this conversation because there are many more things that oh, we yes. can actually talk about to address pertaining to gospel artists, gospel musicians, and, and the industry. And the industry as well. 